Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I, uh, as you've noticed, I probably have not been keeping up with my production schedule. I said I was going to on my first video this year. I did like the first week of January, as it is now the second week almost of February. Or March. March. Guys, I lost a month. Um, a coma will do that to you. Um, here on the wonderful Daylight Savings Day. We, um,. I'm just going to make this because a couple of interesting facts, one being that my YouTube channel has now hit its 100th subscriber, hooray, and I'm at 39,393 views, which means that it's just sequential threes and nines, which is hilarious to me. So uh, I figured I would go ahead and make something, because I haven't done anything in a while and I've been meaning to. Um, anybody keeping track on Facebook as a producer or a beat maker or anything like that has probably seen... Uh, about a month ago or so, the hype for this program, Stage Light. Stage Light is offering to be a cheap alternative um, for music producers that don't want to pay for stuff like Ableton, Sony, or Fruity Loops. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and be honest. I don't... like This is the, the tilde of this video. Uh, I don't suggest it. Um, and, and a lot of that's because this is still... I think they're they're not saying this is a beta, but they're not saying it's it's a full ready to rock software. Now, Stage Light, um, when you, when you if you you can download the full functioning demo for thirty, I believe it's thirty or sixty days. I can't remember. I downloaded this a while back, uh, and I've got three days left on my thing, so I also figured this would probably be a good time to do this because I was going to do a whole video showing you how to use this software uh, for people who wanted a cheap alternative. Like I said, this is only nine ninety nine, and I don't mean nine hundred ninety nine dollars. I mean this is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So for someone looking for a super, super cheap uh program, this is gonna be great for someone who doesn't want to spend any money at all or any skill figuring out how to work around other things that we're not talking about because we're considering this to be a legitimate operation currently. Um so for the ten bucks you get their you get their key for their product. Um what it what it does do uh, is it lets us start with a couple of different things here. You can start with one of their demo projects. You can use their lesson systems and or you can just start a full new blank fresh project. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select the blank project because I don't want to bother with showing you the demo stuff right now. If you get if you download this demo, you will be able to do that on your own. I really hope I don't get stopped in the middle of doing this while I'm at work either. Um, as we can see here, uh, for those of us that are familiar with Ableton and or Fruity Loops, um, this program looks like a mesh between the two. Like you've got like Fruity Loops, the standardized uh, controls up top. You've got your, you've got your signature, like time signatures and tempo and stuff up here. You can readjust. You can set your quantizations for your recordings. Um, the biggest, the biggest curve comes from uh, adding tracks and drum looping and things in. Like, uh, let me remember what I got to do here. It's been forever since I played with this. Snap grid. Okay, so we're gonna add a track. Let's add a drum track. And it's gonna find the drum kit that it's got. All right, there we go. And now what you're gonna see here is something very, very reminiscent to Fruity Loops. We got a four by four sixteenth note uh, setup. Um, so if we go every fourth beat here, and we play this, whoops, that was a little faster than a fourth right there. All right, and then that's our that's our loop there. Now, if we drag if we drag this one up here, this is going to keep doing this four by four section as long as we have it. So <clears throat> it's like the pattern system on Fruit Loops, but without the pattern system. So uh, let's see here, every second and fourth, and then every second. That doesn't sound too terrible. Um, go ahead and cut this down to like an eight bar. Let's see, that's, that should be eight, right? Yeah, that's the start of the ninth right there. Um, so that we can close this, and then once we want to modify it again, we just click on the drum kit again, and then it opens up. Now this program is being geared towards people with like with iPads or touch uh, display monitors because the, the 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 interface is set up simply to control for a uh, for that for that inner for that for that kind of interface. Now we can copy this track. And then I believe I can paste this track. Uh, paste. Yep, there we go. And then I can open up this one. Come on. Okay, I'll just open up this one then. I'll put this one over here. And then I'll add my... I'll add, well... 
if let's start at this one, I can turn this into eight, and then there we go, and then we can make it a bigger one. So you, never, you can remember, you can do this with Fruity Loops by changing your bar totals on Fruity Loops as well. Um, three and a gap, three and a gap, three and a gap, three, double kick, and clap, clap, and then we're going to go down to claps, and right, clap, 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 and clap, clap. And then I'm going to close this up. There we go. And then from the beginning. So if I wanted to make this more like howl, so I would bump this up just a tiny bit here into 128 beats per minute. Enter 128. And then we got a little bit a little bit faster there. And then we got um the way they do their um their instruments is kind of interesting. Um they're pretty much like built-in VSTs. Uh if I can go ahead and delete this one, delete, and then add a new instrument. And we're gonna like these are the ones that come with it. Now you can also uh, load in your own VSTs that you have as well. Supposedly, I have not messed with this, so anybody who wants to do more with this can be more than welcome to, and then tell us how it goes for you. Um, you can. The kind of unique thing about this being all of their sense look the same. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to add that. That sounds ridiculous. I'm not going to add that on top of like a housey beat. That sounds stupid. Um, you know, but luckily getting rid of stuff is fairly simple. I mean, uh, as far as mastering though on this, I haven't, I, like I said, I haven't really dealt with this a lot. Um, just because I, I haven't really cared for the layout. Like it's, I don't know, like I like things that are a little bit more technical, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's very simple. It's going to be very good for Mac people. Let's, and Anybody who's a PC user versus the Mac people, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you can use keyboard inputs. I'm using A through Okay, now it's not recognizing keyboard inputs. The keyboard inputs on this thing are weird. I don't like them. Um but, I mean, you can set it up supposedly to use, you know, standard MIDI controllers and modulators and all sorts of fun toys. But, you do get a full... You do get a whole bunch of fun little toys to make this easier for yourself. I do not care for these notes though, like how it how it wants to do this. Like you can literally have to click on these and then delete them to get rid of them. Um, as whereas like with Fruity Loops, we we uh, uh G B and E right. Here. Moving these notes is excessively difficult, and ah! you can't spacebar to stop the music like you should, like you like you do on every other program you use. Um, but honestly, that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and, and not deal with this. Like you, you do get these neat little sliders, and that allows you to move them and change their velocity. And change your start point, and you know it's it's kind of nice, but it's like it's like changing the attack of the game and the delay on anything else. Um, the drum kitting is one of the, of the best things I found about this thing so far. Um, you know your you arch your your main master controller over here 
uh, is not super useful, but it can be hidden just to make it more track friendly, track basic. Um, you can add effects. Uh, you can add compressions and choruses and limits and all sorts of fun things like you can with any other program. I have some reverb there. Let's see if I can. Using my computer, so it's kind of hard to hear if this is even working. I'm curious if this added the effect of the channel or to the. That's the other thing I don't like either, is it doesn't, it says, you know, there's there's reverb, but where is that reverb going? You know, it doesn't say the reverb is on uh, which channel you're supposedly supposed to be able to adjust that. You can record and mute these things. You can solo or mute. Um, you can adjust individual volumes on. Uh, but, you know, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Raw mode for the note editor. Maybe that'll make my life easier. Hold on, let's try this again. Well, it was a little easier with the pencil versus the... And the zooming in helps a little too. Always drag and move your stuff around here. But anyways, um, and honestly, and in the end of it all, I mean, this is it. Um, that's all you get. It's uh, cut and dry. It's not like Free Loops, not like Acid, not like anything else. Uh, I have not even bothered trying to make a full song in this program. Um, I have, like I said, I haven't opened this in a long time. That's not exactly true. I've tried screwing with this program more and more and more. But I, I don't feel like it's... I don't know. I just it, it feels nerfed to me. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe maybe it's the demo. Maybe it's just because it's an early build and it's one of their first releases. I think that they have a <clears throat> a good product possibly for for the touch market for iPads and stuff like that. I think this would be a very powerful tool for that kind of thing. But as far as the standard, you know, want to get down and dirty and into the real business aspect of this stuff, um, this this program I feel like is just going to be more of a hindrance than a help because I feel like the entry level person is going to come in and say, you know, this is only $9.99, and that's a that's a great price for me. I'm I'm starting on this. I, I like this idea as a hobby. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try this and see how you know, and because uh, it's, it's the cheapest thing on the market right now, uh, this is definitely going to be what's going to be you know my greatest my greatest likelihood of showing me if whether or not I want to get into the music or not. And I feel like if people do that, that this is going to stop them. Like there's going to be a ton of people that run into this run into this thing and realize that there's a brick wall for usability with this program and they're going to think that they're they're too nerfed or it could have the opposite effect and make them realize I need you know apparently I'm getting what I'm paying for here in the cheap uh, music industry market uh, and you know I don't want to and I don't want to you know either I do or I don't want to invest more money into this and get something better for myself get some real hardware get some better software uh, so I, it could go either way, but I have I see this being more of a hindrance than a, a help for a lot of people in that market. Uh, you know, unless it's like I said, unless it's someone who's just wanting to get it for their iPad and dick around for that. I mean, then more power to you, brother. But uh, I don't feel like it's for me. Well, that um that concludes this. I'm sorry for the delays on a new post lately. I just I've been so busy. Uh, I've with my senior year of college wrapping up, it's kind of hard to make time for this stuff. But once I'm out of school. We will definitely be definitely more in business more often. Um, until next time, this is Darth signing out from Watches Productions. Thanks for your time. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And we're going to do some more reviews, tutorials, and some other stuff coming up. And leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comments box. Thank you.